again. Welcome to this uh, series of videos about um, the GSN Lucidity Studies. Uh, as I always say and uh, as you know, uh, we are working here are all the theoretical studies that the GSN uh, developed uh, around uh, to, com to comprehend, to understand the world and the universe surrounding them, uh, both at a uh, material level and at a uh, spiritual level. Today I would like to talk to you about uh, Jurin Muge, which could be translated as the cycles of alteration, of modification, of change. Um, the Shizen of the of the Jabu village, because if you are a follower of our channel, you probably already know that uh, the Shizen used to live in different villages. Uh, the Shizen of the Jabu village used to talk about this study uh, when they were talking about our lives uh, passing through profound modifications, profound changes. You know what I'm talking about. I'm talking about awakening, the fall, when you fall, when you recover from a fall, when you're facing inner profound uh, changes, when you, when you are having discoveries, validations, confirmations and verifications of, of things that you uh, suddenly understand and you see light. All these situations normally make us confront uh, difficulties and, and uh, challenges. But they are, they are, they are, cannot, cannot be in any other way. They are the, the, the fact of that we are living, that we are getting free, becoming free of uh, inferior uh, existence forms. It is many times painful. Uh, we say that we normally say that that opening the eyes it's difficult. Uh, probably you remember Platon in uh, Plato's uh, myth around the difficulty of looking to the light, of looking to the sun directly. This is really really painful. We we um, we uh, with the same, this is the the Shizen culture. We normally say the same, and and it is not only for us. It is not only painful for us, it is normally painful and important for all the people that is surrounding us. It is, uh, normally, it is normal that, and quite common that other persons or the, the, of our family, of our friends, normally are passing through the same process. Maybe they are, they are, it's written that they are gonna follow the same path and they are gonna pass this, this way with success and maybe other times they will not and, and it is quite normal because everything you are becoming is affecting them and if you are getting bigger it is it is it is affecting them maybe they're gonna come with you anywhere where you're going or maybe they're not so so sometimes it's even amplified uh, all the effect of these of these situations with this study they used um, to to talk about um, six paths, six uh, ways in which um, we, we had the opportunity to get into a bigger convergence with ourselves. And, and these were the six paths that life or circumstances make to push us to dissolve ferocity, ignorance, arrogance, and materiality. These ways are could be considered, or could be understood, under, understood as six um, tools, six six um, resources that that we have to um, to face these situations we were talking before. These life profound uh, modifications. The first of them is the is, is the tragical fight that more spiritually evolved people has to face when dealing with work when working with less spiritually developed people. Normally, um, these people um, have to face uh, the difficulty of, of of working because they need it to to work with with a person that has not realized realized um, a couple of, of, of things that they need to realize and to become greater. You probably are acquainted about, about a common 
common relationship of, of this type, uh, very common in this martial uh, world, in this martial arts world, which is the master master pupil relationship. But it is also a relationship between a, a father and 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 a son or, or, a, or, or a daughter. It is quite common also in a in the relationship between a boss and and an employee. If the boss is a good boss, and if the the, the employee is, is a good employee, and and obviously if the if the father is a good father, and and the, and, the, and the son or the daughter is a good son or daughter, it's it's a relationship that that it's quite more common that that you think, and and it's one of the resources and the tools that we have to face this. Uh, changes, these inner changes. The second of the paths and the second of the resource of the resources is um, to overcome resistances. The Sisen used to say, uh, used to talk about a symbol, a metaphor on life which was to compare it with a mountain, with a mountain that you have to, to climb uh, step by step with your own effort. To, to overcome Resistances is is this is this way to to become better and to become uh, life perform with modifications. Um, it's quite quite interesting and it's quite uh, quite useful. So so bear in mind always this this mindset uh, because it's one of the, the the biggest paths to to pass with the best. Uh, with the best situation through all these modifications. The third one I want to talk about is to have a lucid and clear mind. As you know, all these studies, all these videos we are doing are destined to to bring some of the of of, of, luc of lucidity to you and to everyone that is interested, because this third path, the lucidity, is one of the most important. It's it's we are doing a series on on. On this, on, on on it, and it's one of the most most significant because if you don't have a clear mind, a mind that is never conditioned by emotions, circumstances, social issues, and pressures from the exterior of any kind, maybe thoughts uh, all the times, and maybe um, wrong ideas about people and about uh, yourself and about the world. Uh, if you don't have a mind that is clear and and lucid. You're gonna face difficulties, and you're gonna, you're gonna, you're not gonna pass through these changes. And if, in case you have to pass, you're gonna do it with lots of suffering, which, which is the, the big difference. With all these tools, you are gonna pass through all these changes, but, but without suffering, which is really, really interesting. Regarding the last three paths. We are not going to talk about the tools themselves. We are going to talk about the the um, blockages that the, that that these tools uh, make you free from. There are kind of, of of blockages in your in of blocking energies, attitudes, and circumstances that that um, that can be avoided with the six with the 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 last three of the six paths. And we want to talk about this first. The first uh, blockage we're gonna face, and it uh, we we normally face, and it's quite common in our lives, is the um, blockage that make us waste time. Time is one thing that we have. We, we are granted uh, just once, and uh, we cannot uh, we cannot uh, give it to other one. We cannot rent it. We cannot take it from other one. We 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 use it. Uh, we use it anyway. We can, whether we use it good or we use it bad, we use it. We do use it. So um, when 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 we are wasting time, <coughs> we are <coughs> sorry in a blockage that is making us wasting time. Uh, we need to to move from it. We need to reflect from that uh, to on that. Um, it's a quite quite dangerous uh, situation, and and, and it can you can be for years wasting your time, even not realizing why or or when or or how. It's really dangerous. The third, the second one is um, to be to be in a blockage, 
because of things that seem to have value but that they have that, that don't have any kind of value you know gambling uh, biases uh, these kind of things you know the definition of bias is not some um, moral thing or puritan uh, thing is uh, bias means something that seems to be good but that in fact it is not good and uh, and it's bringing something that you you feel you want you like but when but but when you have it it's not it's not bringing you the satisfaction you you thought it's quite common today it's quite 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 common today all our lives are are, are built around things that we consider important but that that are not important so so bear it in mind the last one the last blockage we're going to talk about and which is related with a with a path with a tool that will help you avoid it is the loss of inner values and it's the most dangerous one because you lost you, you lose identity you 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 don't know anymore who you are where are you and and where do you go to? And um, it, it's 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 it can make you fall a victim of all the blockages because if you don't know who you are, you start wasting wasting time, you start uh, doing things that have no meaning, and and uh, and everything becomes um, futile. Uh, the master of my master used to say that that uh, many of us see us dragged by our, our own miserable visions and, and monotonous life and plain lives. So I think I have given you today kind of, of useful tools. So remember always to, to look for master-pupil relationships look for a mentor, look for a master, look for people probably you have lots of them around you right now because because they have be, they have arrived to your life because you need them because everything uh, arranges itself uh, probably you have already them but if not look for them look for a, a mentor look for a, for a master it's gonna change your, your life this is the first path but also face the resistances, face the difficulties. Remember to climb uh, the mountain uh, step by step, maybe step by step if, if necessary, but always going forward and, uh, and, and work your mind to be lucid and clear all the time. Uh, we have with us a tool, but uh, life is giving you all the time tools to, to make your, your mind clearer and, and more lucid. So, so go for it and and finally um, reflect on these three kinds of of blockages and see how they are uh, they are being a problem uh, they are destroying your life if you let if you allow them and, uh, and well if if i have the luck to see you next week it would be a real pleasure for me so uh, have a nice uh, week uh, i send you a big hug and uh, and all my best wishes uh, thank you very much